Park collection. Last night was the debut of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer and I was invited to a special screening here in my town and they gave us these special beautiful t-shirts. What do you guys think? So anyway, I'm gonna hold my thoughts about the upcoming movie because from a trailer we cannot know anything about it and Colin Trevorrow already told us that the whatever we saw on the trailer was only the, the first 55 57 minutes of the movie so we don't really know the actual plot of the movie that's why I'm, I'm holding my thoughts um, I don't want to rush things but anyway I'm not gonna talk about Fallen Kingdom right now I'm gonna talk about something that many collectors have issues with with their collections and that is how to clean your toys because most people think that with just a little wipe a little wiping and that's it and that's not right because all these toys have different materials and they cannot all be cleaned the same way plus some many of them have uh, electronics so you cannot just um, submerge them in water you know and that's why guys I'm gonna show you my personal method of how I clean my toys hope you guys like it oh crap no we don't need any of this Okay, the things that we are actually going to use, it's a bowl, dishwasher or dish soap, some Lysol wipes, a small spray bottle, an old toothbrush, and some clean clothes. First, we fill around half of the bottle with warm water, with a, um, a, around room temperature, a little warmer. And then we add a little bit of dish soap into it just enough so there's bubbles inside shake it a little bit and there we go you can get this little bottle from Walmart for like five dollars or something um, this used to be um, a body lotion that I used to have so I just finished it, washed it and reused it for this purpose only you don't have to use one of these of course you, you can use anything that sprays anything that does this it's good enough okay now we need a volunteer this little raptor would be perfect since this toy is not electronic, you can soak it in in the water and nothing's gonna happen to it. Okay, after soaking the dinosaur, we use a little spray bottle with the dish soap already inside and we spray a little bit. Next, we use our old toothbrush and we start scrubbing in. Why an old toothbrush? Because um, these dinosaurs have a, a lot of texture, so it's really hard to just um, it's hard to just clean them with a wipe. So it's better to use a toothbrush so you can clean every single creases. Just a little teeth and a little teeth around here too. And once it's done, you can either rinse it with warm water or, like me. Yes, you sell a clean cloth. And that's it. It's all clean. Here you can see the before and after pictures. Of course, it's not a before and after per se because it's two different dinosaurs, but you know what I mean. They were on the same shelf, so... Okay, now let's use an electronic dinosaur. Here we have our little Baryonyx, since it's so popular right now. As you can hear, he actually makes it sounds. Since this little guy does have electronics, do not soak it in the water. I repeat, do not soak it in the water. Otherwise, its electronics are, are gonna go bad. You can use Lysol wipes or any wipes that you like. Hi. 
once it has enough um, soap on it, you can also use again the toothbrush and then clean it with a clean cloth. Okay, and now we finish drying it. And as you can tell, it still roars. So this is the best method to clean any electronic dinosaurs. Of course, um, I suggest that you take your the batteries before trying to clean it up. I, le I left the, the batteries in here so you can hear the actual roar of the dinosaur so you know I'm not lying. But it's better if you do this without the batteries on. But what about larger dinosaurs? What about the, the rubber dinosaurs? Okay, here's my little trike puppet. She's gonna be our star right now. Since she's not electronic either, I could soak her in in water and just clean her up. But since I don't have my big bucket here, I'm just gonna use my spray bottle and brush it. As you can see, I'm using a circular pattern so you can go more into it. Okay, her little eyes and her beak. And now we finish it with a clean cloth. And we dry it out as best as we can. And she is done. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? And that's it. That's all you need to know about how to clean your toys. And trust me, they will be happier this way. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. You will find there a lot of pictures from my collection. And I always upload um, news about the upcoming movie, uh, news about the toys, news about the new statues and figures, and I don't know, anything I can find about the franchise. And don't forget, if it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. <laughs>